god, this candle's blue. How did I not know this candle was blue? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today both Hayden and Booker were actually woken up early by Jinx. Um, Jinx didn't even want anything. Jinx just wanted to wake them up. Eliza spent the night again last night. She has not gone to bed. I, d I don't understand why. Um, but she's still awake, so that's cool. Sorry for my dog. But I know I said that I really, I thought Hayden was probably going to just stay home. Um, the whole time she was like, okay, yes, we get it. We get it. Oh, 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 I forgot to tell you guys this. I got this um, on a lighter note compared to the last part. I got this notification last night at like four in the morning. Bradley and Kendall have started their intent to get married. Witnesses remarked that the, that the proposal was a tearjerker with plenty of applause from the crowd afterwards. Kendall and Bradley are already getting married, which means children are probably not far behind. Um... Which I'm pretty happy about. I think it'll be really cool if Hayden and Kendall have kids at the same time. I think that'd be cool. But like I was saying, Booker, why are you like that? <clears throat> um, I, uh, I know I said in the last part that I thought Hayden was probably just going to stay at home until this mood lit went away and she was going to just kind of be a little depressed. POS in her room, um, but she is going stir crazy from not leaving the house, and I feel like her and Booker haven't really had um, time together in a while, so I'm going to have them go on a date. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have them go on a date and go out to eat, get some breakfast together, just kind of spend the day together, and then maybe they will, um, or not maybe, but they will have a little risque woohoo tonight <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and ask her on a date we'll give her a kiss flirt with her um, ask her about her day ask if she slept well and then we'll go out to eat and Eliza will probably leave um, when we leave to go out to eat but that's fine she's been here since after school on Friday so I'm sure her mother probably wants her home and also I did just want to say I got rid of the bed down here and I moved the bookshelf back in here. I figured since Kendall moved out, Eliza can just have this room. I'll just leave it how it is and then let's do this. We can tear up the town together. Um, but Eliza will just have this room and then of course when Hayden has the babies, hopefully she only has twins and not triplets, but when Hayden has her, um, her babies, we will... Um, redo the room situation and kind of um, see what happens with Eliza. <laughs> we'll see, because I feel like, oh my gosh, my arm itches so bad. It literally will not stop itching. And why is, there's a scratch literally all the way down my forearm. And it's not for me. I don't have nails, I clipped them. That's a little um, scary. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, he wants to go eat at a restaurant, which we will. The fancy restaurant isn't open, but I mean, that's that's fine. We don't need anything fancy. It's also breakfast. So we'll go to the diner, eat here with our date. And then, oh, that's right. He has to give a public speech between 8 and 10. He'll do that, wait, 8 and 10 a.m.? Okay, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Good, good, good. Okay, so they'll do that, and then I think they'll go on a, they'll tour the theater, and with the woohooer mod, you can actually woohoo when you are touring the theater or watching a movie, you can woohoo, so I think I'll have them risky woohoo in there, and like I said, they will risky woohoo today, if they don't get pregnant, they'll risky woohoo on Monday, and if they're still not pregnant, they will full on try for a baby on Tuesday, because I want her to have a baby or have the babies, I want her to have both babies um, the day she ages up into an adult or maybe a couple days before. But anyways, what is this? On saddle me. You don't have a saddle on. I'm so confused. Very confusion. Okay, go ahead and eat hay and then you can exit and gallop around for a little bit. What is up with you? You really have to pee. 
Go pee. Drink. Eat your hay. Exit. And then now that Silver is old enough to work on his, right? His? His. <laughs> I don't know why I can never remember that. Now that Silver is old enough to work on his skills, I'm gonna have him train for racing. I'm not really gonna train Coco or anything just because she's um, she's lazy, first of all, and she's also an elder, so I don't really see the point in it. Jinx, you're fine. You're just sad from Rufus's death. You need to go pate, so come out here and go pee. How's your babes? Oh, it's a poor babies. It's a poor little babies. Oh, I love RJ so much. Okay, you're gonna chew on that and then you'll go ahead and eat. And you are just sad. <sighs> My poor sad little babies. I'm so, I'm still so like devastated about Rufus. I don't think you guys understand how devastated I really am. But we're gonna go have a nice little breakfast date. We're gonna take Hayden's mind off of it. Cause like I said, um, Booker, he didn't move in with us until that long ago, so he, uh, let's, did we have Jinx before we had Booker? I think we did. I don't know, but he wasn't around for a whole lot of Rufus's life, whereas Hayden got Rufus, day he was born, Hayden got Rufus, and she literally had him from birth till death, and it's gonna be really hard for her, but... We're gonna have, you know, Rufus Jr. around, and maybe I'll just keep breeding um, the dogs and always have a little baby around. I don't know. Eliza has reached her teen years, though. We have a freaking teenager already. That's insane. Angst and raging hormones can make this a difficult period for any sim. Eliza can now join the workforce by taking a part-time job, although her grades are still a big factor in her future success. So, like I said, I think what we're going to do with Eliza is we'll get her Wednesday after school and she'll spend the night and then we'll get her Friday after school and she'll stay with us till Sunday. So she's never going to actually like move in with us, but she'll still be around a lot. So she'll be there for, you know, babies and birthday parties and the wedding. I mean, I'm going to have them, um, I'm going to have Booker and Hayden get married pro when the babies are either babies or toddlers. I haven't decided yet. Um, it'd probably be easier if they're babies because they literally just sit there, but if they're toddlers, I think it'd be cuter because they could have like, oh my God, cute wedding photos with each one holding a toddler. Oh my God, adorbs. A freaking dorbs. I love it. We're gonna go tour the theater now and we'll be able to woo risky woohoo in the theater. And I'm gonna pray that Hayden when she does get pregnant, I low-key want her to get pregnant right now because it would kind of speed things along, but also, like, <sighs> my original plan was to wait, so we'll just, we'll just see what happens. All right, can this load, please? And then after you get done in your theater, hold on, can, can we not? Can we, can we just take a second? Okay, go ahead and hold her hands give her a kiss and then after they do those two things i will end the date and he will go do his little opportunity for work and she will probably head home and work on her book yeah i think that works can you guys like get in there please actually can it load so i can tell them to woohoo please come on hayden get in there get in there girl get in okay so we're gonna make out backstage oh i love it we're gonna go ahead and do a risky woohoo with hayden it is only 10 percent so um they probably won't get pregnant but i don't know sometimes my sims are very fertile are they doing it risky woohoo with hayden Okay, it says they're risky woohooing. Usually there's like you the noise and the flowers still. Risky woohoo with Hayden. I don't think they even did it. Are you kidding me? Oh, they did. Okay. Public woohoo. Awesome. <laughs> did I just did they just risky woohoo like 3 times? 
Because then that way ups our chances. Oh, God. What is this? What is this? Excitable Sims tend to get, well, excited. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love that. I freaking love that. Okay. Go kiss her goodbye and stuff. Um, Booker is looking to enjoy some artistic experience and took a trip to the theater. The beauty of the Grand Theater is a memory that will stay with him for a lifetime. Same with Hayden. Why don't you go ahead and ignore that phone call? We don't need her. Whoever's calling, we don't need her. And then Hayden, you will head on home, give some attention to the animals because I'm sure they need it after the death of Rufus, the almighty who held them together. Bro, someone is really trying to get with you. Like, what is happening? Answer your phone. Let's go ahead and end the date. Um, Silver feels the need, the need for speed. He might be pokey now, but if he keeps galloping to and fro, follow, follows a race trained routine and finds a good jockey, he can join the stories, storied ranks of the greatest racehorses of all time. Cheyenne Fox wants to talk. No, leave me alone. Oh, everything froze. What happened? What happened? Okay, um, no, I don't care to learn about that. So leave me alone. That was really nice time we spent together. Thanks. You would say that, Hayden. She's like, yeah, that time in the theater with you was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. All right. So I really don't have any plans for today. Um, that was legitimately it. Like they were just, just, uh, why is, why is everyone sleeping? Why is this broken again? We just had a repair technician here yesterday. Oh my gosh. Hayden received, um, Hayden has earned 3,611 smolians from book royalties. How many books does she have written? I think she's got a lot. I think she's got like five now, because usually it tells you how much from each book. Oh, she has seven. Oh my gosh. So let's see. Oh, we're getting closer and closer every day to this 30,000 mark, which is awesome. We're almost halfway to our 20 mark, which is cool. If we can write three more books, actually, that's not going to happen. I was like, if we can write three more books before she's an adult, that would be amazing. But that's definitely not happening because we have five days. And it typically takes her like two to three to write one book. So we love that. Also, we did start a new book called Lost Dog. Obviously, it is about Rufus. Um, she's only 8% of the way in, but I think um, it's kind of like an autobiography a little bit. Like, it's the story of her life with Rufus, but it's more like from Rufus's point of view, maybe? I don't know. That's just, just my thoughts. Okay, you need to take care of yourself, Jinx. That's one thing about having so many pets is like, I used to, you know, when it was just like Rufus and Jinx, just the two of them, I was like controlling them the whole time. I always told them what to do, like the whole time. And now it's just, okay, you need to go. Sophia, someone needs to fill these damn food bowls. When you get home, you're filling all of them. But, like, I used to control them so much when there wasn't so many. And now that there's, how many do we have? Six right now? Yeah, now that we have six, I don't really control them at all. So, I think, well, no, not I think. I know for sure we are not getting another pet, like, period. We are not getting another pet for the rest of this Let's Play. There's way too many. And Rufus is still a puppy. He, or Rufus Jr., RJ is still a puppy he still has what was that three days three days before he's an adult so i have a feeling that um uh, rj will be an elder about the time that the kids that hayden is gonna have become like young adults and go off to college and then i think i'll probably get a dog specifically just to breed with rj and then let the kids each take a puppy or something so i think that's what i'm actually going to do i'm gonna have um rufus's offspring just keep breeding so we continuously have like like having him around kind of you know i think that would be that would be really really nice but like i said there's really no plans for the day so this part is probably probably gonna be pretty uneventful 
um, aside from the risky woohoo, I really want to check and see if she's pregnant or not because I am impatient. But you know what? You start getting nauseous with in less than a day. So within like 12 hours usually. So I'll just wait and see. If she doesn't get nauseous before bed, then I'll know. What was that? What was that? Every formerly heaved fish can now exhale a sigh of relief through their scales and crusted gills. Your speech was magnificent. Okay, I don't know why it gave us like sad music. No. Are you kidding me? You're freaking kidding me. Are you? We've had her for a day. You're joking. You are joking. No. You are joking. You're freaking joking. No. You're joking. We had her for a fucking day. Literally, it's been 24 hours. Oh. You're joking. Grim. I've never seen how they take the horse. Oh my god, he rides her? Oh. My God. Sorry I'm screaming, but like, what? You're freaking joking. <laughs> I am speechless. What? What just happened? I'm speechless. We had her for less than a day. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Did they really give us a dying horse? Like, I knew she was an elder, but I figured she would be, like, just turned to an elder. I didn't even bother to check her birth. Like, oh, my God. I'm so What the hell? Why? This was supposed to be a happy part. Okay, you need to go take a nap. You are just heartbroken. Oh... You, okay, do whatever you want. You're taking care of yourself. You're, oh my, oh my God. I'm freaking shook right now. Like we literally had her for a fucking day. What? What is happening? Oh my God. Wow, 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 wow. Well, we're down to five pets now. That's a little more manageable. Wow, 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 wow. That's literally all I can say is wow. I'm just so like, what? <sighs> wow. I just, oh my goodness. I can't even talk, like, that's all I can think about. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. Um, all right. Mr. Mayor. Oh, he's the mayor, by the way. I think he got promoted when I played Friday off camera. Forgot to tell you guys. What are you doing? You are just turning the music on. You know, Jinx was trying to take a nap. Okay, yeah, just, that's fine. Be all pissy, that's fine. Jinx, I guess since you're not allowed to nap, go play with that. And you can play with this, and then scratch this. Ooh. Excuse me, that was probably disgusting. I'm so annoyed. I'm really, really annoyed right now. Like, really annoyed. I'm gonna have Booker order a pizza for dinner. Neither of them are, like, super hungry, but... I'm sure by the time the pizza gets here, they will be. Oh, I'm so... Like, I, I 
I honestly don't even know what to talk about. Like, I'm so upset right now. We literally had her for a day. A day. A singular day. Wow. Okay. Is this TV really still on? Turn off. So we're going to order a pizza for dinner. Hayden is upstairs. Pizza delivery. Call. Um, Hayden is upstairs using the bathroom. I guess we'll just come watch TV while we chill for a bit. I don't know what else to do. Also, this repair woman, like, oh, maybe she finally stepped out. She won't leave. She was standing in her bathroom for the longest time, and then obviously Hayden had to ask her to leave so she could use it, but, like, she won't leave. That's kind of annoying. Um, wow. Very, okay, there we go. Very upsetting spaghetti right now. Wow. Um, and then what I think I'm going to do, because we did complete her lifetime wish, if you remember in the last part I talked about it, it didn't like register that it did, but we did complete it before, you know, Rufus and Coco died. We did complete it. Um, so I don't want to have all these animals anymore. So what I think I'm going to do is once they die, I'm just going to sell their cage. And then once we're down to just a few, I will make this like a formal dining room instead of, you know, an animal room. And then maybe I'll put like one or two in the kids' rooms when they get older and they can each like have one pet or something. Um, Cause I don't really want to have that many either. Oh, Benjamin and Haley had another baby. They had a girl named Allison. I think they had a boy named Brennan, if I remember correctly. I probably don't though. And Booker is actually gonna age up tomorrow, which is freaking crazy. Jinx is gonna become an elder tonight, which is also freaking crazy. You need to come here and receive the pizza. Yeah, go receive the pizza. Oh, so very upset she's spaghetti. Where are you going with my pizza? Girl. Girl. Literally, where is she going? Is she really going to put it down right there? Oh my god, you're so annoying. You are so annoying. Hello? Okay, come serve the pizza then. Jeez. Okay. All right. Booker, you serve the damn pizza. My God. Who's going to get there first? Serve the pizza. Oh, you can hear the animals howling because they're so upset. I'm so sad. Call the household to the meal. I'm so sad, you guys. You don't understand. Looks like I'm done here, and that'll be 30 simoleons. Bye. <sighs> I feel like they should have a TV in their room, because I want him to just, like, chill upstairs, because it's, like, getting close to bed, and he does have to work tomorrow. I guess he'll just go watch TV in this room. And then probably go to bed, because he does work tomorrow. What time does he go to work? He has to leave at 8 for work. Are you going to eat your... No, 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 no. Eat your damn pizza. Sophia, I saw that. If you weren't so heartbroken, I would beat you. Just kidding. I don't beat my animals, but... Um... Oh. Just the birthday, people. <laughs> it's just the birthday. It's okay. It's a-okay. And nobody's going to celebrate with Jinx, but that's okay, Jinx. I'm here. Let's get your baby over here. Run over here. You're gonna miss it. Oh, you missed it. Oh my God. You are so cute. Look at how gray he got, or she got. Jinx is the girl. Oh my God, Jinx, I love you. You are adorable. There's a positive side to this. See, Jinx is adorable. That's the positive side. You know, we can, we can think like that, right? Right. Tell me right. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Nothing super eventful happened. Um, just kind of a, you know, a bleh part, I guess. Um, and I think I'm actually going to play Monday off camera just because I don't think you, the only thing that's really the only eventful thing that's going to happen is Booker will age up, but that's 
I mean, you've seen a million birthdays, you all know what they look like. So the next time I pick up will be Tuesday. Also, Hayden is obviously not pregnant. She has not thrown up yet, so she definitely would have by now. But so the next time you see me, it will be Tuesday. And if Hayden doesn't get pregnant from a risky woohoo tomorrow, they will be trying for a baby and all that stuff. And I also think I'm gonna have her start um, training with Silver. Silver did some running training on his own, so he's a level two, but I do need to work on Hayden's jockey skill. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see all of your lovely, lovely faces in my next video. Bye guys. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why?